Office of Imperium Intelligence, report number H374927. We are following up on reports of the Corpo's halting by the Agrarian Union of Southern States. Since our last report, the old corporation has decided to double down and establish more units in the occupied borderlands of the Agrarian Union. Though more and more border towns become occupied, the further the corporation pushes, the more opportunities there are for partisan slash guerrilla warfare. Hello everybody, this is Surf, and today the old corporation is advancing into northern Florida. Here to stop them is the Agrarian Union of Southern States. Now, the old corporation has money to spare. They've got high tier, high quality, high veteran mercenaries. And with them, they've got their BTRs, their strikers, and one M1 Abrams tank. In a forward position here, we've got this uh, little FOB kind of thing going. And in the back, surrounded by machine gun, heavy machine gun emplacements, there are the commander of the corporate forces. He's right here. Take a good look at him. We'll be looking for his corpse over the course of the video. Now, on the rebel side, we've got all of these sort of technicals. The enemy has got the big guns. They've got money. But over here, the rebels, they've only got pickup trucks with machine guns on the back. They've also got some mortars and a lot of anti-vehicle guys. You can see it on their back here. Now in terms of the technicals, we've got some, as you've seen before, machine guns. We've got this uh, anti-vehicle one. And my personal favorite, right, let's see if we can find them. Where are you? Right here. Right here, this sort of grad rocket thing that fires incendiary shells. Now, as a first line of defense, we've got these rebel agrarian union spec ops guys directly across from the enemy FOB here and their outpost down the road. So we can expect the first combat to come right from here and let's get started. The first shots have been fired in the center. Oh, they're laying down some oppressive, oppressive machine gun fire right there. You can see all those hitting the ground. They are moving back a little, though. Where are they going? There they go. They're, go they're just going around. Oh, lord. I forgot to mention. I forgot to mention. Is it dead yet? No. The Rebels do have one BTR. And there it goes. There it goes. It's gone. And it's gone. We saw it live. What are the enemy vehicles doing? Here we have the M1 Abrams here. They're trying to form a little perimeter around this gas station. They're also sending a hefty chunk of their forces to deal with that. And oh my lord, it's a double. It's a double kill. How did they do that? This guy, this guy, our boy. Let me see ya. He's the MVP. He, this guy is an MVP. He just took down three that might just steal the victory for them. That might just steal the victory for the rebels. Someone get this guy a promotion. Somebody get the, he's a professional. Let's see what we're looking at here in terms of layout. They've got a slight defense line here, but severely weakened with all three of their vehicles disabled. So far, only the BTR and a technical have been taken out on the rebel side. Another striker, or an MATV. This one's the striker. It's still clearly anyone's game. As long as the M1 Abrams is active, the corporate holds a fighting chance. Especially with the early takedown of the Rebel BTR. It seems that the Rebels have cleared the FOB though. And the Rebels may need a little help if like they might need to push up a little. The vehicles are a little bad about that. But we'll do what we can for them. Same thing with the mortars. I'll keep them all moved up. The corporate won't have this problem just because they're all in a bit of a cauldron 
getting surrounded and stuff. Oh yeah, the noose is tightening. This Abrams is doing everything it can. This Abrams is going to carry until it is killed. Meanwhile, oh, they, they've breached the, they've gotten to the highway. Is our boy still alive? Where did we last leave him? He's like right here. He killed this guy. I'm circling. But I don't see him at the moment, at present. Peace be upon him. I hope he still lives for his sake. Rebel AT soldier, oh no! No! Oh no. Let's check in on the enemy commander. How's he doing? I set him to hold. But we'll see if we can find him. You're not out here, are you? I've set all these guys in the little base to hold. I wonder where he is. He's in my head. Doing a little check poop. Checking around. If I don't see a corpse, I'll assume he's still alive. You guys see a corpse? Tell me in the comments. Oh, he might be upstairs. Sometimes he hides out in this little side area. Not the best cinematography, I know. But I don't see him anymore. He might have died and face to the floor. We'll check back at the end of the video. Uh, this is what the grad rocket I was talking about does. It's incendiary. Oh, and they've lost two more technicals? Oh, and the, the M1 Abrams has been knocked out. It is gone. Alright, this is moving up on its own. Very good. This is just a machine gunner, I think. Oh, no, they're still repairing. Oh, no, this is an anti-vehicle. Anti-vehicle. However, it does seem the corporate forces have knocked out completely the rebels on this side. The agrarian militia. Meanwhile, the militia on this side is doing a heck of a lot better. A lot better. They're moving up into the gas station. Oh, there goes another MATV. Is that the last of their vehicles? I think it is. The rebels have taken out all of the rebel vehicles. These heavy machine gunners, I think these guys are on M60s. It looks like M60s. They're going to be doing their absolute best to take care of these guys. To hose them down as best they can. They're suppressing um, effectively, for now, it seems. But they're slowly being whittled down. It looks like the rebels are greater in number. Hey, you guys gonna get out of the way? <laughs> oh, none of them died. There's a grenade right there. The rebels are greater in number, but the corporate forces here have good defensive positions. They're in a fortified spot with machine gun emplacements. What would be the RP thing to do? Let's see if these guys w wouldn't drop on this mortar. You too. Hop on that mortar. And see if you can help out your boys. If I see like an obvious move like that, I will do something. Of course. I want to watch you fire so you know you're, I, I know you're doing good. Okay. Also, it's probably smart to put them back on the emplacements where I can. That's probably not a good idea, but I had that guy do. This might be broken. It is broken. 
Oh lord. There he goes. See how much the, they can be whittled down. It's the final stand of the corporate forces. And they're doing not so bad. Slowly whittling them down. Do I need to rotate the, uh... Probably should. There we go. Hmm. I'm not gonna be too hands-on. Try not to be too hands-on. So like, they'd, they'd be concentrating on this with the RPG, right? Oh, lord. Did you see that? I wonder if this mortar can take out this technical. That would be really something. They're getting kills, though. They're doing the work. Let's grab a screenshot. Let's grab a screenshot. Here we go. Another screenshot. It's a slow whittle fest going on right here. But will they be able to hold? You get on this emplacement. They seem to be holding them off. And they've, they, they have managed to take out this technical. I'm going to adjust these guys to be more relevant. And I'm also going to move these guys up. It's just a smart thing to do. Battle is starting to die down, but there's still a lot of guys to go. It's a, it's a battle of attrition. Let's look one last time for the enemy commander. Spec ops, spec ops. I was hoping that'd be him right here, but it was not. I sent him to hold, I wonder where he went. guy in there. Look at this home slice that just is MIA. He fled the field. He's, he's uh, being tried for cowardice as we speak. Oh, they've made their way around. Am I going to find him in the mist? I don't think so, no. There's a field of corpses right here. Is this him? No, it's not. Okay, I'm gonna stop looking. I'm gonna stop looking. I'm obstructing the cinematography. But they're they're breaching the compound finally. Any evac is uh, a foregone conclusion. Oh, this guy's got the camping spot right here. This guy's camping. He's camping. Oh, he's gone. What about you? What are you gonna do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing, thanks. That was a lot of money well spent for the corporations. Ah, but I'm going to call it here. I'm going to call it here. Tell me guys what you want to see. This is a rebel victory. I've played this several times, and it's really back and forth. But let me know what you want to see. The rebels have just gained a spectacular victory against corporate forces. What are they going to do with this victory? What do you think they're going to do? What do you think? Also, what is the corporate going to do with this defeat? Let me know in the comments. Tell me your strategy. What do you think the most likely thing to do is? Oh, he's running. He's... he's Trying to get past them. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. And that's the last of the corporate forces. We're going to finish it right here. And tell me what you think. I'll be back very soon for the next one. Don't forget to like, favorite, uh, subscribe. Put me on all your playlists, even your music playlists. I want to see you there in particular. And I'll see you next time. Sayonara. 
With the old corporation's forces once again on the back foot and the momentum of the agrarian union becoming stronger, it is only a matter of time before a decisive battle is fought. Just how much the corporation is willing to throw at this venture is yet unknown. From all accounts, their coffers seem near infinite. Only time will tell.